Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to be talking about a new game. Oh, and also this is a different format from what I usually do, which is just gaming videos. But today, we're doing unscripted, talking directly to a camera called Real Gamer Talks, aka RGTs. Now, today, you obviously read the title, we're going to be talking about, sorry, we're going to be talking about Anthem. Anthem is a new game coming out, and it's sort of like Destiny 2, but I'm assuming better. Anthem is actually a game I'm really hyped for. I really hope it does well. But there's one little thing I've just sort of been, like, acting like it doesn't exist, but it does. And it's pretty, pretty sad, if you ask me. Chair, shut the fuck up. And it's that it's developed, not, not developed, published by EA. I know. Very scary. But... I'm still excited, v very excited in fact. I loved Destiny 2, except it just got boring, and that's the problem with games like that. If you don't have a good enough quest system or a good enough driving force for the players to keep going, it just gets very, very boring and grindy and not fun. Like, I loved Destiny 2 for a long time, and everybody said, oh, the end game's where it's at, the end game is fun, but I didn't have the driving force to get to the end game, to get to like 300 power level, because there was nothing fun to do once you had reached max level without any DLC. Which also was the big problem with Destiny 2 was that you had to have the DLC to continue the story at all. But I'm getting off track. We're not talking about Destiny 2. Uh, we're talking about Anthem. Anthem is a game which is just holy crap. So basically, in the game, at least what we know so far is that you're going off, you're doing quests, the stuff in this world. There's people and stuff like that, but you can play with your friends. And then there's four classes. Um, and I, it's like, there's an all-around good one. That's just generally good. You have the tanky one, you have the quick one, and then you have like the mage type guy. And I'm I really, really, really hope this game is good. They've said that there's no way to like pay for power and I think no loot boxes. I'm not sure on that one though. I will have to check. But um it just looks like a very tasty game. The fact is EA. EA is the part that's really, really scaring me. I don't... It's just... They say there's not gonna be pay-to-play. But I feel like it being EA, they're gonna try to find a way that they can make money off of this from microtransactions. Maybe it's just a fuck ton of DLC. Maybe it's just, I don't know, a small bit of loot boxes if they haven't confirmed that there are none. But... That's the main thing that's really scaring me about this game. And uh, one of the things that really excites me about this game is that you have games like Fallout 76, which came out recently, but everybody fucking hates it because it's a buggy, boring mess. Um, and the problem is it, it, needs, it needed a few more months, maybe another year even, to bake, to get it fresh, to get it actually to become a good game which is what I'm f what I'm not really fearing with Anthem actually because the game was announced last year but it's been this long since it's actually come out which is you know expectable but it's not coming out like this month or last not last next month during December to catch on to the sales it's coming out in February which at least seems to me like it's they're trying to make sure that it's baked it's fresh it's good there's no real flaws with the game you're not going to hop into a game and you're going to vis vis wow I'm an idiot visually see bugs that will actually affect your, you while you're playing the game that would be a very very sad time if you ask me but I'm really excited for this. I feel like this is going to be a game that I could play with my friends and really enjoy. Such as uh, a game that me and my friend group usually play, which is Rainbow Six Siege. If you don't know what that is, how? It's everywhere. But the main reason why Rainbow is such a good game and why it's still going on after three years is because they know how to update it and keep it fresh and keep it good and keep the content just very spicy and keep you enjoying it. And that's what I love that Ubisoft has done with um, Rainbow. If, like, an example of that is the hacker situation. A few months ago, the game was basically unplayable for weeks and weeks and weeks. You just were guaranteed to get a hacker in almost 
all, all of your games. There was just a guaranteed hacker. YouTubers were quitting, stopping playing Siege. So what Ubisoft did, instead of just hiding and acting like it didn't exist like most developers would, they handled the issue, they talked about it, and they fixed it. Now, sure, you'll run into hackers now and then, but at least it's not every single game, so the game is actually playable. But, let's get back to Anthem. I, holy crap, am excited for this. Like, holy crap. Like, I just want the game to come out already, but I want it to be bug-free. So, that's that's gonna be the f that's gonna be it for you guys. It's a bit of a short video. Some of these may be a bit longer, but that was the first episode of RGT, and I'll see you guys later.